show you a little Chrome trick as well. Now, if you have a Chromebook or you have Chrome on your computer, it's always best for the, the Microsoft Microbit platform. So if you have that, I recommend using it, use Chrome. Um, but I want to show you how we can actually pair our Microbit to our browser. So we don't have to download the file, we just have to hit the button. So what I'm going to do is I'll just open an old program that I have. This is just a program I was working on. Now say I want to just download it directly onto my Microbit. Now just remember, I have my Microbit plugged into my computer. You can see it right here. So I have it plugged in via USB onto my computer and you can see my uh, Microbit is present. So now let's go down. I'll get my... Um, Here's my Chrome browser. So in the top right corner, there's a little gear here. And if I select it, so these are the settings that you have. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna connect the device. Okay, so the third one down, I'm gonna select. First, make sure your microbit is connected to your computer. Yes, it is. I go next. Pair, to pair it, we're gonna get a pop-up. Sure, go for it. All right, so as soon as I get to this, you can see that it says, oh, there's a micro bit, I see it connected. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight it and then hit connect. And my micro bit now is connected. So now, say for example, I wanna download this, watch. No file will download, it just goes automatically right onto my micro bit. And once it's done, you get this little check mark and it says, done. Okay, so really simple. I come into my program. I'm using Chrome. Make sure you have Chrome. I go over to the far right onto the gears and I do connect device. It's going to have two pop ups next, next. I see it. If you don't see it, it might not be connected or your, your cord could be something up with it. I just select it by clicking on it one time and then I hit connect. And look, connect it to micro bit. So now I can download directly without having to download and go into my download folder and all of that. Right, a little trick for you for Chrome.